five kings that was coming against Jehoshaphat. And he was outnumbered three to one. And the enemy spoke to him and said, I got you now. The Bible said that Jehoshaphat began to fear. But he knew where his help come from. And he went and he began to pray and he fast. He called all the people because everybody got caught up in fear. They got caught up in fear by what they saw with their eyes. And they fasted and prayed and the Lord sent a word. He sent a word by one of the prophets. And he told them in verse 17, he says, listen, you shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves. Stand ye still. And see the salvation of the Lord with you. Watch me save you. O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not. Why? Because fear has torment. Fear will keep you up all night long worrying about something that's not going to happen. Amen. 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 Come on, Pastor. I remember when my wife had tumors or whatever she had. Some kind of something the doctor told her. <laughs> what was it? Tumors. Tumors, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. Doctor tell you all kind of stuff. Right. They're doing their best. Yes. Right. At first, fear hit her because who, 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 hey, it hit me if it was me. Probably hit you too if it was you. But immediately she remembered her God. That's right. And she called on the prayer team. <laughs> she recognized and remembered how prayer is able to do supernatural things. Yes. To thank God for prayer that is above the natural. Yes. And they prayed and he fast, she fasted and prayed. And I remember her testifying. That her tumor was, you know, big. It wasn't like some little thing that you couldn't see. It was big. It was, you could see it with the natural eye. But after prayer, right. and after Jesus, Amen. and when God got through, that thing was gone. Hallelujah, somebody. Because we live outside of what we see with our eyes, and sometimes we need to stand still and watch God do what he's going to do. He says, fear not. Nor be dismayed. But go out tomorrow against your enemies. And the Lord will be with you. I come to tell you this morning, stop being afraid of life. Go out every day and face your adversaries. Go out every day and face demon spirits that come against you. Go out every day and face trials and tribulations and hard times and hardships. Go out every day and God will be with you. And when the Lord is with you, he's more than the world against you. When the Lord is on your side, there is nothing that can overcome you. When God is with you and backing you, there's nothing that you cannot do. When God is holding you in the palm of his hand, there's nobody that can resist you. There's no one that can tear you down. God will hold you up with his own right arm. There is no reason to fear. None. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what your test is. I don't care how long you've been going through, how hard it seems, how much you have tried. There is nothing that can stop you when you are on the Lord's side. Take no thought for tomorrow. The Lord knows what you have need of. He is not blind or deaf or dumb. And he is not weak. He is a God that can do super abundantly above all that you dare to ask, hope, dream, or desire in every area of your life. There is not one thing that you can request from God that he cannot do. This morning, I say fear not. Fear not. I want you to boldly say, the Lord is my helper. 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 When people look at you and say, how'd you do it? The Lord is my helper. 
I thought, I thought you couldn't make it. I, I got a whole new mindset. The Lord is my helper. But you, you was acting down last week. I know, but I went to church on Sunday and I heard the word of God. And the word of God said, the Lord is my helper. The Lord is my helper. The Lord is my helper. There is no reason to fear. The Lord is my helper. Let us stand.